What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in to another episode. Today, we're going fishing. And what we're fishing for, that's the tree. Super rare fish. Let's come close to this wind, it's crazy. It's called the Big Mouth Sleeper, okay? It's actually the largest of the Gobi family. But what is the Gobi family? I don't know, I just did enough research that it would sound awesome. But anyway, come on down here to the local spillway. This is actually right behind my house. And I'm not worried about you guys knowing about it because this place sucks for fish, other than the Big Mouth Sleeper, which you're about to see. We spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out if this fish is actually endangered or not. We really couldn't get a definite answer. We called FWC. Who else did we call? What was the other line? Uh, we the Marine Wildlife. Marine Wildlife. like to do is actually catch this fish and make a catch and cook for you. Would that just be crazy? It'd be crazy, right? I don't, I, I don't want to kill an endangered fish. So we're going to catch the fish on this episode. And I think maybe on the second episode, when I find, when I get clarification if we can eat this fish or not, we'll cut that baby up. You know what I'm saying? Are you doing any zoom or you, uh, hopefully you're not just... Hopefully the whole time it wasn't just... Okay, good. All right. No. You're fired. Man down. Good? Mm -hmm. All right. Had a boy. Cameraman's all right. Check the drag. I've never, ever come here and not caught a big mouth sleeper. So we're a couple casts in. But patience is the key. All right, so Garrett's feeling lucky. He thinks he's the big mouth sleeper whisperer, so we're gonna let him. We're gonna let him try it out. First cast. All right, guys. So we didn't have much luck at the spillway. It, 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 I've never ever gone there and not been able to catch them. They're so annoying. You try not to catch them, and then all you do is, all you're doing is catching them, and then you want to make a YouTube video, and you can't. Are you shaking the camera at all? No, you're not. There you go, you gotta shake the camera, make it look like we're just freaking. Actually, if you go and check out one of my older videos, we're going to a spot where I've caught Big Mouth Sleepers. Like, but make sure you check it out. So we're going down this road, and we're gonna try to get on Big Mouth Sleeper. I don't know anybody in this world that's working as hard to catch one of these things as I am. So stay tuned. All right guys, we're at the secret, secret, Big Sleeper, super secret, about spot. Don't be afraid to get too close. If, it if my whole face is like that, that's fine, all right? All right. People like this. You know okay, what I mean? I'm my glass off. So look, it's so ugly. It's a big mouth mullet. This was supposed to be easy. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bex and Rod. I'm sorry that I dropped your baby girl. We got one more spot, and if they're not there, I don't know. It might be. It, it might be the weather. It might be too cold for these guys. We might have been catching them while they were spawning, and that's why they were all stacked up in that spillway, and they were stacked over there. One more spot for the goby, and if we don't get the goby, I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe we could catch a, maybe one of Garrett's pets or something. I don't know. Stay tuned. Doing a little bass pitching. We got our first bite. I'm pretty sure it was a big mouth sleeper because until I knew what they were, they would like hit your lure. They hit it pretty hard and then they'll come off. And that's exactly what happened. Big mouth sleeper. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Alright guys, so this is called a big mouth sleeper. This is actually the largest species of the goby family. Now what's cool about these fish is they're actually camera up, camera up. They're actually a Central American based fish, huge in Costa Rica. They get up to like four pounds. It lives in fresh water and in salt water. It can go back and forth. It really is a cool little fish. It's got that huge mouth. They kind of look like a snakehead with like like a musky dorsal and body. But this guy is actually really chill. I don't know if we uh, killed him on that hook set or, or what, but they've got some teeth. Look at those little micros. See him? So what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking maybe we're just gonna do a part two. You know what I mean? Whether it's a catch and cook. Here's the thing, guys. 
we spent a lot of time trying to figure out if this thing is endangered. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in some water with an aerator and we're going to hold it overnight. So we can either eat it tomorrow, I know it kind of seems messed up, or we'll bring it back and we'll let it go and at least you guys got to see what a big mouth sleeper really looks like. All right, so there he is, guys. He is alive and well. Man, hey, come here, come here, check this out. Just stumbled across this. What do you think that is? Does that kind of look like that? There's a lot of homeless people, as you can kind of tell. There's firewood, but I always find a bunch of trash, condom wrappers, and other stuff. So it wouldn't surprise me if this was one of our friends and they ate it. That kind of gives me a little hope that maybe we might be able to eat this fish and let you guys know what it tastes like. I don't know, what do you think, Garrett? Do you think that looks like something else? No. I'm thinking that they're edible. The homeless are eating them. And if the homeless can eat them, then not can eat them, right? Only reason why is right here. All right, guys, scratch that. We're thinking that this might be a catfish. That would make more sense, I guess, with the homeless. But uh, look at the spine up top here. Look at this side spine. This guy doesn't really have any spines, so the, the, the verdict is still up. We still don't know. We still don't know if we can eat this fish. We don't know yet, okay? All right, so I want to thank my buddy Garrett here. It's the first time ever working the camera. You did a good job. I mean, I, did all right. I wanted to strangle you a lot, but for the <laughs> most part, you know, I wouldn't have been able to get it done without you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to like, drop a comment. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next video. It might be a catch a cook of that stupid pig mouth sleeper. All right, guys. Sorry about the lighting, but we got him in a nice little bin here. Got the aerator going, and he'll be good for tonight until we can get some more information. We really don't think that this guy is endangered. I think I might want to keep him. I want to see if he eats lizards and stuff, but that's a whole other thing. So I came out here to check on little Gobi Man, and I'm super glad I did, because it's not good. It's got a hole in it. The freaking the, the box tank bin plastic container thing, it's got a freaking hole in it so I'm looking there's there's water all over the garage Gobi man's running out of room there's literally like no water in here you can see his back he's still breathing so now I gotta run out and I gotta get him some water I, I'm not going back in that canal right now so I think what I'm gonna do is go over the overpass behind my house and throw a bucket with a string out and see if we got I, I don't know but we got to get him some water this is probably the stupidest thing I've ever had to do is go get water off of this overpass for a stupid fish. I'm probably, I'm probably going to let him go. I don't know if I'm going to eat him. I really haven't decided what I'm going to do with this guy yet. Sorry, I'm trying to keep my eyes on the road and not kill people. Guys, I think we're just going to go down and get it ourselves. This is really freaky. I hope nobody's down here. So it's really, really shallow. As you can see, you can't really see. It's pitch black. I'm I need to get the hell out of here and stop trying to make like, a cool video because this is kind of spooky. I don't know if you guys can see anything behind me. But, uh, all right, let's get this water before I die. That's enough water. If I fall with this giant bucket of water, it is not going to be good. Man, this actually wasn't too, too bad. All right, that wasn't too bad. We got, the, we got the water. Hopefully we can save the goby. It's super windy out here. I'm trying to keep the poo out. There we go. All right, so we got a little bit of the waste in here. Throw that out. Bam, jabam. All right. Look, he's swimming around, guys. He's feeling good. He's in some new water. Yeah, buddy. Life is sweet. All right, guys, go. I gotta start filming with this hand because that all those scars on my hands freaking gross. So Gobi is good. We're gonna get in here before it starts to rain or storm or whatever it's gonna do. Uh, I have like a little top just in case he jumps out. I know that you guys are probably worried about that. So I think Gobi mission is a anyway. I think Gobi mission it was a success. I think he'll last the night and we can figure out what we're gonna do with him. I heard that they're not as rare as I thought they were. Apparently they're super hard to catch. I don't know. I'm going to go edit uh, the rest of today's earlier video and hopefully we can, I can figure out my life. I'm up all night thinking what I could be. The same old question torturing me.